We've stayed at plenty of campgrounds over the past year, but none of them compared to the luxury glamping at El Capitan Canyon. With well over 100 cabins and yurts spread throughout its 350 acre property, their structures are about as high end as it gets, making their accommodations more comparable to a mountainous Airbnb than a regular campsite. The large property also has a great social hub near its entrance, which includes its canyon market where you can buy your meals, snacks, and necessities. It's also where you can find the trailheads to the Selma Rubin and Llama Trails. Visiting with friends, we all opted to do the Llama Trail. Our best guess is that the trail's a little over a mile round trip, but once you get there, the kids will enjoy petting an assortment of animals grazing in the fields. Of course, the llamas didn't want anything to do with us, but the donkey and sheep filled in nicely. After the hike, we met back at the middle of the property to swim and use the playground. Some of our group even rented bikes that had seen better days, but they were the quickest way to get up and down the Bass property since everyone's vehicles were in specified lots away from the cabins, which actually helped a lot in immersing visitors into the environment. Once night fell, we gathered around the group's most central cabin and spent a couple of nights catching up around the campfire with all the kids playing around us. On the flip side, when we found out that El Capitan Canyon has a shared partnership with Ocean Mesa RV Campground, it was a no-brainer for us to book the site over there. The amenities were terrific, with the best showers we've ever seen at a campground. It also has a pool, horseshoe pits, a playground, laundry machines, and more. If it weren't for our group of friends staying at El Capitan Canyon, we would have been more than happy to stay at Ocean Mesa and enjoy the grounds. Even the tent spots looked fancy. But each morning we took the footpath between the resorts to go visit friends on the other side. We recommend either location, but they are a bit pricey. So we recommend doing something similar to us. Visit with a large group of your closest friends and make memories that make it worth it. And while you're out in the Santa Barbara area, consider a visit to Moxie with your kids. Check out our review here. We completely loved our visit to the Kids Museum and we consider it one of the best in the state. Once you're done with that, browse through our playlist with other things to do with kids in California. And we'll see you next Tuesday. Thanks for watching.